Hello everybody, today I'm talking about Saturn retrograde in Aquarius on 29th of June and it will remain retrograde till 15th of November uh, still in Aquarius. So always when uh, Saturn uh, turns retrograde it is a major event so we have to understand what it is doing, what are the degrees and then also when it goes direct. So let us explore. Hello, I'm Komela Sutton and we are talking Saturn retrograde in Aquarius. Do remember to subscribe, press the bell notification. And Saturn in Aquarius, it's been there for a long time. Once a year, Saturn turns retrograde. And this year it is turning retrograde on 29th of June at 25 degrees uh, of Aquarius and it will go direct on 15th of November at 18 degrees Aquarius. Uh, so uh, as I said that Saturn turns retrograde once a year. So during its journey in Aquarius, actually this is the third retrograde because once it retrograded at one degree of Aquarius in 2022, then 23 and now 2024. Now, next year when it turns retrograde, it will be in Pisces. So always uh, as astrologers, we watch the retrograde of Saturn because it is a major event. And if you have planets placed near the retrograde, then they can impact you. So some of the details, Saturn is going to retrograde at 25 degrees 49 minutes of Aquarius. And as I'm talking to you, Saturn is stationing. So before it goes uh, retrograde, it stops and stations and uh, then it will retrograde, but it is still stationary five days before, five days after. And that one degree, 25 degrees of Aquarius gets very activated. And if you have planets under that, then that is a, a challenge for you. Of course, the most important planet to consider is the moon uh, because moon is your emotions. It also means that you are in intense Sare Sati. And what is the orb here? We should say uh, 25 degrees. If you have a planet 24, uh, maybe 26 degrees, but close to that timing uh, Saturn is going to station then he will retrograde and remain approximately in that degree for another month or so. So you know it's grinding itself onto mm, uh, your moon if you have moon at that degree and then of course other planets as well if you have ascendant sun, ascendant is your physical self uh, sun is uh, your identity, who you are. Uh, Venus is relationship. Jupiter is your uh, feel-good factor. It could affect uh, children, um, relationships, money. Uh, Saturn, of course, if Saturn is at 25 degrees, you're getting a Saturn return. It's a major change of life. Uh, Mercury means the mind is unsettled if Saturn is stationing over Mercury. Uh, Rahu Ketu, again, this is not easy transit for you. Uh, so if you have a planet, you see, if they are in somewhere in Aquarius, it's not that important. But if they are 25 degrees Aquarius, then that is the important point. And you should be kind to yourself. You should understand this is a challenging time and try not to uh, you know, go against that. Saturn wants patience. He wants you to take your time making decisions and not to rush into anything. This is not a time to cut corners at all. 
Now, I have uh, made another video. I spoke ab uh, about Sade Sati at the uh, Asha Vidya Gurukulam uh, last week. So I'm going to have that video uh, for you available uh, so you can listen to that too uh, to sort of understand a little bit more about Sade Sati if you are in Sade Sati. Uh, but uh, this particular timing is not easy for all of us. Sometimes, you know, things are not happening. We are trying to allow, you know, force things to happen and it's not happening. Then once Saturn turns retrograde, we don't actually feel it that much uh, because uh, then we are waiting for November and around November, uh, say early November when Saturn starts stationing at 18 degrees and uh, you know then 15 November Saturn will go direct and then it's almost at that time also you feel that pulling back some laziness some pressure and if you have planets at 18 degrees uh, of uh, Aquarius uh, this is 18 degrees is in Chattabhishak Nakshatra. If you have planets exactly on those degrees, 17, 18, 19, you know, I would say uh, 19, 18 more important. But that means that Saturn is stationing there. If you have moon at that degree, these are important things. And, you know, because you know for a long time that Saturn is going to station at that degree. If you have other planets according to their house rulership, Karaka, other planets will get affected too. But you can plan for it, not put too much pressure on yourself, not take uh, unnecessary, uh, you know, responsibilities or uh, things on you around November when Saturn goes direct. Now, during this transit, uh, Saturn will be going, it is retrograding at 25 degrees Aquarius. It is going to retrograde in Purva Bhadra Nakshatra. And it remains in Purva Bhadra Nakshatra till uh, 3rd of October. Uh, so if you have a Purva Bhadra Nakshatra, your moon is in Purva Bhadra Nakshatra, then Saturn is up to 3rd of October in your Janma Nakshatra, your birth Nakshatra, that is an important transit, even though it may not be exact on your moon, but it means that Saturn is going over that Purva Bhadra Nakshatra. And then from 3rd of uh, October, right up to 27th of December, Saturn is going to be in Shatabhishak. And Saturn was already done Shatabhishak, but now it's having a, a short foray into Shatabhishak. And especially, you know, uh, 18 to 20 degrees Shatabhishak, Saturn is going to uh, retrograde back, then uh, go forward on those degrees. So when you're thinking about the Saturn retrograde, the main thing to uh, analyze is that if you have planets between 18 to 25 degrees of Aquarius, that means that Saturn is uh, going to be making, uh, you know, two or three transits over it. So if you have uh, uh, sort of uh, 25 degrees or 18 degrees, exact degrees, Saturn will only make two transits over it. That means that uh, for 25 degrees, it's going to come up to 25 degrees, retrograde back, and then come once again in January, February at 25 degrees. 18 degrees, if you have 18 degrees, Saturn has already been once on that uh, degree, and uh, it is uh, going to retrograde back up to 18 degrees and then go forward. So you have two transits, but otherwise, Anything between 18 to 25, uh, Saturn will do three times uh, uh, transit. So it has already been once over your moon or other planets. And then during the retrograde motion, it will go over uh, your, if you have planets between 18 and 25 degrees, it's very precise. Then Saturn will go over a second time. And then when it goes direct later on, it will go over a third time. 
So this is uh, challenging because uh, Saturn grinds itself over your planets. If your moon is uh, either in late degrees Chhatabhishak or early uh, Purva Bhadra, that means that uh, Saturn uh, uh, will really impact your moon and uh, making 2024 a challenging year for you and you should be protected and be cautious about this year. Uh, otherwise also if you have other planets, it doesn't impact the same way as Saturn impacts the moon. But other planets also, you have to consider that what is the Karaka for the planet? What is the house rulership? Karaka is significator. What is the house rulership of the planet? So each one of you will have different house rulerships. So you have to consider all those things. So. Of course, the knowledge of Vedic astrology is important that you, you need that knowledge and uh, you can uh, work with it. And, um, you know, uh, respect the aspect that Saturn is uh, going to turn retrograde. So what, are you, what should you do about Saturn retrograde? So firstly, on the day or the day, around that Saturn retrograde, uh, you should be careful not to uh, plan any events because the main thing Saturn can do is he can delay, he can block the situation. Uh, and so even if Saturn turns retrograde, then at that time, you, you know, so let's say 28th, 29th of June, all of you, doesn't matter what your ascendant is, to be cautious if you are planning traveling on that time, take extra time. Uh, once I was traveling on Saturn retrograde and I thought, oh, it's okay, it's going to turn retrograde. Mm, uh, so it's no problem. But I had some major obstacle with my booking of my ticket. I had to go to the airport five hours earlier, get it all resolved, sort it out, and then I could go. Uh, so this is important to understand with the retrogrades that when you are going, uh, you are being cautious about that. And then when it goes uh, direct, uh, again, the same thing. Don't plan any major event around that those two days, 15, 14th, 15th, 16th, maybe of November. Uh, so those are the main things that we have to watch for. And then... As we are recording this in June, then uh, right now, pack a bit of patience, be patient about things. If something is being blocked, then, uh, you know, just take, let allow it to take time because sometimes Saturn, and we don't know what he's going to block. So uh, sometimes Saturn will create uh, difficulties and, um, you know, uh, for no reason at all and obstacles or blocking. So we have to be aware of it. Now the signs that are getting most affected by it is of course Aquarius. If you have Aquarius ascendant, Aquarius moon, Aquarius sun, Aquarius moon, you are in deep Sade Sati, you know that already. Now, but especially if you are between 18 to 25 degrees of Aquarius moon, then this is uh, next few months are very challenging for you. Then uh, Cancer uh, moon or Ascendant Saturn is transiting your 8th house. 8th house is unexpected transformation, something changing. So uh, you want to watch for that. Uh, Scorpio moon or ascendant it is Kantakashani fourth house transit of Saturn not an easy transit for you as well so you need to watch those other people who are uh, most intensely impacted by it uh, so uh, you know the thing is this be patient take care take your time making any decisions this is not a time uh, to make a decision. But the good news is once Saturn turns retrograde, then for most of us, we won't feel the retrograde. We feel it most intensely as it is about to turn retrograde and then as it is about to go direct. So we won't feel it as intensely. So we need to just be conscious of it and aware and uh, watch it. And of course, as you watch these transits, 
then next time when it is retrograde then you understand uh, that uh, you know it's um, how it affects and how you dealt with it and maybe next time you deal with it even better than you do now so that is it for today do remember to subscribe press the bell notification thank you very much